So we, I'm showing basically two works, one called Estuary and one called Toxicity. And these are two totally very interrelated works, one based on documentary evidence, which I've gathered over the past couple of years of kayaking the coast of the Delaware River and doing archival uh, and library research work set against walking the coast of Southeast England where I grew up as a child. These result in a kind of artist book project, a folding map that's supported by a digital database. And that map is a map that narrativizes all the evidence we have, places it on a kind of land, this is in fact the working draft of it, places it on a landscape against the coastlines, and follows that with a chemical map that uh, shows the chemicals and being worked with and produced in different areas of the, of the Delaware River within the flood zone. So that you have a sense of what the soup would be like in a, in a flood time. This is the evidence out of which we begin to build a story or narrative. And it's that narrative that charges the video installation, which is three monitors. A lot of the videos were shot in cryptic and they're constructed on a combinatory system, which means that they continually change their patterns in different orders. On top of those videos are stories taken out of the documentary materials and fictionalized so that uh, we can imagine what all of this um, underlying data might suggest for a near future, a kind of uh, fictionalized near future in, say, 15 years down the road. Mm -hmm. um, a future which I hope doesn't happen, but it's a future that, if trends are what they are, a future where floods become just more regular, there are more frequent closings, more frequent problems associated with floods, a beginning of a deterioration caused by things like rust, mm -hmm. pollution of fishing areas, um, threats to the existing drinking water sources, things like that.